going to make my super awesome chocolate covered cherry cookies. You will need clean hands and adult supervision. First we are going to gather all of our baking supplies we will need. We will need two bowls as you can see and a spoon and fork for stirring. A set of measuring cups which are right here. Half a cup of butter which I already measured out. Half a cup a cup of white sugar, right here. One egg, right there. One half teaspoons of vanilla extract, which is in this tiny little bowl. One half of all-purpose flour, which is already in the bowl. Half a cup of unsweetened uh, cocoa powder, a t quarter teaspoon of salt, which is really tiny right here, um, a jar of, um, maraschino cherries right here, um, a half a, a half of a sweet, wait, sweetened con condensed milk, right here, measured out already, and a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Next, you are going to melt your butter in the microwave, which I've already done, and beat the butter, which, uh, and the sugar together in a bowl. And then you'll stir it. You have to stir it really well and get all the sugar. First, uh, next you will add the flour, which I will do right now. And then you will next add the cocoa powder. And then the salt. And then the baking powder until it is smooth. Now add your egg into the bowl and vanilla and stir it all together. Um, now that your mixture has is stirred, roll up it into in one inch balls, a ball <laughs> about the size of a walnut. Place each ball on a ungreased cookie sheet pan in it and Put your print, thumbprint in to make room for cherries. Did I forget to mention? <laughs> you would also need a cookie sheet and the cherries. And save the cherry juice too. Because you'll need it later. The cherries are the villains. You must ascend them like this. Oh. Now your cookies should look like this. Now you are going to mix chocolate chips and uh, four, four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of cherry juice. Sorry, mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And these condensed milk, which looks like caramel. Mix up it over a low heat until everything has melted together. This should look like this. <laughs> um, 
You may have noticed that I've changed my shirt into Ghostbusters because I love Ghostbusters and I made a huge mess in chocolate. You will have to drizzle all of the cherries with the chocolate, but you have to go fast because they will it will dry and be hard. Come on. Ah, this came out of it. Now it's all broken. It's gonna make a big mess. Great, but it's all broken. You still want it this to came be out of it, not so really good. Trying to go fast, but it's not really working because I'm slow in the mornings. I'm taking this. Hold and on, putting, start over. Now I am taking this and putting it in the oven on the top, so that we have another one for our next batch. That is for how long? For for the next ten minutes. Ten minutes. And now, after ten minutes, take your cookies out. And let them cool. And that's how you make chocolate covered cherry cookies. Mm -hmm.